My name is Jerome. This is my story. I realized showing symptom of Parkinson when uh, about a year and a half ago, one of my friends with a doctor told me that I was a bit shaky and I should probably see a neurologist to confirm what was uh, the actual reason of those symptoms. And uh, I saw three neurologists before believing that I had Parkinson. Mohamed Ali was a role model for my generation and uh, seeing him on TV at the Atlanta Olympic Games shaking was quite a shock. And later when I was diagnosed with Parkinson and my wife Suzanne was browsing the net, we found out that there were many communities in the United States around boxing and Parkinson. So we searched one in Singapore, we couldn't find any. Therefore, we approached the ring, which opened the, the, the facilities to us and, and start training around. I started boxing three months ago and it's quite intensive, two to three times a week. Honestly, I saw some improvement in my symptoms, which are mostly um, stiffness, um, stability, and uh, speed. Um, unfortunately, people with Parkinson have the four S symptoms, which are shakiness, stability, slowness and stiffness. So I saw some improvement on those three. Unfortunately for shakiness, uh, there is nothing else than uh, medication. Hi, my name is Susan and I'm Jerome's wife. So previously I was concentrating a lot more on dementia and how to live well with dementia. And since Jerome has been diagnosed with the condition, I started looking into Parkinson's as well. And uh, I found that there's a slight difference between Parkinson's and dementia. One is a cognitive impairment, the other one is a motor impairment. Uh, but they affect the brain nevertheless. So uh, I started looking at what are some of the things that we could do to slow down the disease uh, progress. And uh, boxing came into the picture. And I started reading up more on boxing and I find that it is a very mindful activity. Uh, that can help to potentially rewire the brain. So uh, we are trying it out and we are very lucky that um, yeah, the ring is uh, willing to help us in this journey. I think uh, with the boxing training, um, he's a lot happier of course and uh, he's also um, faster in his movement. Uh, I think he has been improving from day one in his uh, boxing stance until now, he's, uh, yeah, I think we are doing well. Uh, generally, a little bit, not too much. Uh, with overhead exercises, they have a bit of trouble, I think, with the stability of the, of the muscle, so we avoid overhead exercise, and it goes above the shoulders. Uh, but apart from that, he is pretty much like any other non, you know, someone without Parkinson's, it's the same thing. Uh, so I just treat him as a regular beginner. Uh, well, we have to be a bit more careful about stability and, and coordination uh, and balance, for example, that he will struggle with. So we go at a slower pace at the start, and as he gets more comfortable, uh, we increase intensity of the exercise. But otherwise, it's, it's just like any other beginner. Uh, over the weeks, his general fitness has improved a lot. At the start, after one round of pets, um, he would be panting and sweating a lot, need a longer break. But now, he can keep going for 10 minutes non-stop. So general fitness is definitely something improved a lot as far as things like reaction, uh, his speed, for example, his punching speed, uh, his general boxing ability, that definitely has increased as well. Uh, but the biggest standout for me is his just you know his cardio, his general fitness, uh, his endurance. Uh, but yes, of course, his uh, coordination is a lot better. As, as you know, it's something you expect, you know, doing something, the same thing for six weeks over seven weeks. Uh, that's something that will improve over time. So definitely his coordination's improved. Uh, his, um, he's more stable on his feet now. Definitely. Before that, he would lose his balance a bit going off the left and right, going from back and forth also, he would walk a bit. But now he's a lot more stable. Uh, so yeah, those are the improvements that I've seen in Jerome over the years. Do you have any expectations? 
questions for yourself? No, just be yourself and enjoy. I feel good, honestly. I had not practiced boxing for a month uh, because my back was a bit painful. Uh, but uh, really, I feel good. Thank you. Yeah, the, the ring is part of my therapy at the moment. <laughs> my growth, uh, I don't know if I grew really, but um, I, have, I have different symptoms like slowness or stiffness or stability besides shakiness, but uh, these three, uh, three symptoms have been quite bothering me and boxing has been useful for, for the last three months to control and perhaps improve, but it's a bit short, three months, and uh, I look forward to more improvement. Yeah, thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Abdillah Lakaroum. Um, the head coach of the ring boxing community. Today I did the assessment of Jerome, who have a Parkinson. And uh, today I see someone who is really committed to do the right movement. Um, uh, it's amazing to see how much he improved in such short period of time. Uh, I see today someone with a very good coordination, very good full work, very good balance. Uh, well done, Jerome. It's really good. And um, I hope to see you again really soon. And um, we we're very honored to, to be part of, uh, of, your, of your journey at the ring. Thank you. The ring cares represents our actions towards the communities in need. Today, we are really blessed and excited to kickstart this project together with Jerome and Susan. Parkinson and boxing have a strange relationship, yet extraordinary. What we want to try to achieve is to bring more awareness about the benefits and the values that can be shared through our program within these projects. Yeah, I'm videoing it. Got that smile there's excitement in the chase. I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride. Myself, I 